Hi, I'm Emil, and you're at MorganCustom.net. Well, uh, we've now completed the bevel box cooler, and I'm going to video so you guys can see what's going on. So here we go. You'll need to get the car up in the air, take off the bottom pan, access the middle of the car. We'll go right to the heart of it. Up there is your bevel box. As you can see, there's a bolt above the hose. That's, a, that's your level check or your oil fill. Uh, now you're looking at the drain fitting with the new adapter and the AN6 which connects to that drain. Now we're going to show the location of the hose going around underneath the rear wheel control arm. Uh, some of you are going to feel that that's a problem. It isn't. The swing arm at that point doesn't move up and down that much. It's in a non-area of a problem. We're going to look up here through the hole. So the line comes out of the drain, comes around, goes under the bevel box, makes a 90 degree turn into the oil filter. 240 micron, three ounces uh, of extra oil in that container. Now my kit, I've hardlined this just to facilitate the building uh, and routing. Uh, most of these lines will be flexible rubber lines. Here's the modified pump bracket. You can see the pump right there. There's the pump. Clears everything. I bolted it to the bottom of the transmission. Uh, you can see where the inline connects to the pump and now up above is the outline going up to the cooler in the front. I've run uh, the outline of the from the box to the filter on the driver's side, uh, to the cooler, I mean. And then as we get up here under the transmission, I transition over. And now you're also looking at the return line, but we're going to go up front here. You can see where the lines go. Behind my thermostat for my oil cooler, behind my engine drain, the lines run up, they invert because I want the feed line at the bottom and I want the return line at the top for the air to come out. You're now looking at the cooler, six row, nice cans at the end, mounts to the existing oil cooler. That bracket will be different on different versions of the oil cooler so uh, you'll get a different looking bracket not much though you won't know the difference okay now we're going to turn and come back down on the return line return line is the one closest to the passenger side you can see the power line above it here i've run that from the pump down this back side there power line quick disconnect it'll run back transition back over to this side and go up and come out by the battery on my car you will see here the temperature sender so i can uh, switch between oil temperature of the engine and oil temperature of the gearbox bevel box here we are returning back here the line transitions underneath the fuel line and when we get to the top, we'll show that again. So there you go. Uh, we're going to close up the bottom, and you'll see me back on top in a few minutes. Thank you.